Hey guys, I've got COVID, so I'm isolating. Uh, I've got nothing better to do. I can't go to the studio, but I'm going to do a quick video how to do some slide guitar. If you've never done it before, this might be useful. This is a quick way to get you going. You will need one guitar. Find the one with the highest action. That's going to help you. You will also need a slide. So that's simply an old bottleneck. You can buy them from places. Different materials. Try them out. Let's crack on. So we're in standard tuning. Now if you've ever done drop D tuning, we're going to do the exact same th thing with the bottom E string. We're turning the E into a D. We're going to take it down two semitones or two frets or one whole tone. Or if you've got good ears, you can match it to that D there. So here we go. There we go, that's the octave. So you've got your drop D there. Okay. Next up with the A string, we're going to drop that two frets as well. So here we go. Oh, and same again. It's going to become a G, so we can match that to the G. Drop G, if you will. So, so far we got. Uh, the cool thing is we're going to leave the G where it is. We're going to leave the B where it is as well, and the D. So this is one way to tune your guitar, this is called open G tuning, because when we play a chord it's going to be an open G chord. There's one more string to go, that's a top E, we're going to bring that down again to a D. So same as the other ones, it's coming down two frets, two semitones. So what you can do there is play the third fret on the B string to get a D and you want your top what was an E to match that. So there we should have an open G chord. The bottom note here is a D, that's kind of like the fifth. Anyway, when you're playing the chord you can go from the second string there. It also works if you use the bottom one, but the root is there on what was the A string. And the cool thing with that is, well, let's not use a slide even yet. If you bar it anywhere, you're going to get a full chord. So you got a G there, you're going to have a C here. C here, then you're going to have a D here, E, F, and so on. There's a G. So, if you wanted to do some kind of blue stuff, what have you got? You've got your, you got your open G. Then the C. slide so obviously open we don't need the slide yet but you know that the open notes are the same as the 12th frets we've got the octave here so you've got a G there as well you see is on the fifth fret Um, when you're using your slide, instead of going just behind the fret like you do when you're fretting, you want to be right above the fret. 
and you can use the entire, all of the strings there. Or you can just pick some of them out. Slide into the notes as well. And you'll find little areas which sound cool, like uh, three, two, open. Um, but yeah, mess around with it. Do some fun stuff with your right hand. the rough idea that's the, the bare bones of it so there you go have a little go with it mess around with it see how you get on if you want to see some more slide stuff let me know and uh hopefully i'll see you soon all right